Hi, I'm Jason Lam, a cloud security expert and principal instructor with the Sense Institute. Welcome to the fifth installment in this video series covering the eight domains of the cloud security maturity model that I developed. Using this framework, you will have the ability to lead your organization to achieve a high level of cloud security with measurable progress along your journey. In this particular domain, you'll find that there are three different attributes. They are security protection services, workload assessment, and also cloud application practices. So for security protection services, this is really about focusing on the use of cloud native and, and also on-prem security standards to safeguard applications. The area evolves from an initial ad hoc adoption of basic cloud native security components to a more sophisticated and optimized use of comprehensive cloud-based security services, such as your anti-DDoS protection, your API gateways, and some of the CWPP, which is also known as Cloud Workload Protection Platforms. The maturity grows to include the enterprise standard for protection profiles uh, with a focus on fine tuning and optimizing the security measures through the threat modeling and red team exercises. With that, we also want to pivot over to talk about the workload assessments. It pertains to the systematic evaluation of security throughout your development life cycle uh, of applications. Initially, right, most organization involves a very basic pen testing for critical workload at the end of the development life cycle. As your maturity increases, the assessment also incorporate continuous security testing methodologies, such as your SaaS, your DAS, basically your static and dynamic security testing. And then it extend over more comprehensively to threat modeling, red team exercise that cover the application logic and also the environment factor to get a holistic view on your security posture. The last attribute here is about this application development practices, which is about adopting the management of cloud native tools and practices to enhance security uh, and efficiency of your cloud-based application. So starting from ad hoc use of DevSecOps practices and cloud resources, then organization progresses through uh, using CICD pipeline and aligning your application design uh, with the cloud native architecture principles. The area matures into embedding security functions within development teams and using design and architecture patterns enterprise-wide, ultimately leading to continuous improvement in application uh, deployment and cloud capability integration. The next video will cover domain six, detection and response. In today's technological landscape, a shift to cloud storage is inevitable for most organizations. And with this shift come a need to revamp your security strategies. That's where SANS LDR 520 Cloud Security for Leaders come into play. This course, grounded in my cloud security maturity model, equips leader like you with the expertise necessary to craft a comprehensive cloud security roadmap for your organization. Don't wait to hone your practical skills. Take part in a collaborative discussions, immersive case studies, and engaging simulations through this one-of-a-kind course. Learn more about SANS LDR 520 Cloud Security for Leaders and various training modalities to choose from at sans.org slash LDR 520 and explore a free hour of the training material while you are there.